Once again, let's talk about Hex, baby. <laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Here we have in my hot little hands is the longest I've ever waited for a Suntup edition. I bought this November of 2021. And you may remember my interview with Thomas Oldehuvelt at the time. I have been dying to get this book ever since then. I've gotten the artist edition, which is now a classic edition. Because of the delays, there was an error with the with the pages, the bound man, the manuscript, the book block. <laughs> There was a problem with the printing and it affected all editions. So it delayed the publication. It, it was originally six months, but then it turned into a year um, because the delay caused them to go to the back of the line in the printing queue and redo it all. So it, it's been a while and this is one of my own, most anticipated editions from Suntup. I'm a huge Thomas Oldehuvelt fan. I'm hoping beyond hope that Suntup does Echo, which is uh, Thomas Oldehuvelt's second English language novel. And this year, Oracle comes to um, English. So I am, I am so happy to have this. And to make it even sweeter, this edition is signed by one of my other favorite authors, Josh Mallerman. So Josh Mallerman and Thomas Oldehuvelt both signing a Sun Top book, like that's almost too much. Almost. Let's look at this baby. This book was sewn and bound by hand by a bookbinder in Southern California by name of Ann Covell. It has this insane printed cloth on the cover. Uh, the cyanotype, I don't know if I'm saying that right, technique where they uh, put something on this cloth and then they hit it with heavy duty light. <laughs> These are layman's terms. These are not technical terms. And it leaves um, this impression. They used peacock feathers and it turns the, the boards blue, but underneath the peacock feathers, it's all white. So you get the, the fine detail of the of the, of the feathers, of the stem, and, and the fibers of the feathers. And that was done by an artisan in Glasgow, Gillian Stewart. So a lot of names of a lot of artisans, and they all came together to create this book for me, just me. Here's the bookmark with the Chris Barron's artwork right on there. My second bookmark, I also have the one for the artist edition. The book comes with a little note. Hex by Thomas Old Hoovelt, numbered edition. Thank you for the purchase of this edition. When placing the book back in the enclosure after it has been removed, we suggest you put it back with the spine side first and with the book at an angle. Then press down gently on the foredge. Thank you for patience. Thank you for your patience with this one. We hope you enjoy it. I, I'm pretty sure I will. And that's good advice. Um, that, that note wasn't really 100% necessary for people who had been buying books from Suntep for a long time. For example, that's exactly the method you use when putting away Blood Meridian or The Exorcist or any of the books that come in like that cigar style enclosure. You put the spine end in first on an angle and then you sort of let it drop. You don't let it drop. Like, you know what I mean? You, you let it ease in and it falls in there real nice. But that's us getting ahead of ourselves. First, we have to take the baby out of the box. This enclosure is covered with an embossed material. And I will tell you how that feels, and it feels great. It feels great. I got my hand all in it. Got my hand in the bag. Got my hand in the bag. Wrist deep in the bag. Oh, this is nice. It's not leather. Uh, if it was, it would have said leather, but it feels like it. It acts like it. It pretends to be it. I love cases like this. It's like the case is its own book. Um, and here is, so it is a tray case. Oh, oh, these, this is, this is really nice. This is very luxurious, very luxurious. And then look at that book. And then look at that book. There it is. 
hex. So it has a ribbon, and I'm going to be very careful with this. Now the spine has hand-sewn stitching. Forgive the lighting situation. I'll take better pictures at the end. That's very cool. Um, man, that's very cool. Hex. Beautiful. This is a handmade lapped component case binding. It reminds me of Exorcist, but I think if it was Bradle binding, that's how Paul Suntup would have referred to it. So that must be the term. It, there's a texture to this cloth. You could feel it. Um, if I was a better photographer or had more skill, you could see it. There's a level of a uh, little texture, little, little lines there that you could see. And look how beautiful those feathers reproduced. That is just wild. Just amazingly wild. And, and like I said, um, the binding reminds me of The Exorcist which cost $300 more than this did at retail. Same print run. This is a 250 print run as The Exorcist, but this is not printed letterpress. <laughs> um, these are the signatures. Now, I will say, this is wild. Um, there is a complete, uh, there's a total difference in signatures. If you look at Thomas Oldehuvelt's signature, and Josh Mallerman's. <laughs> one is huge, hugely uh, elaborate, and the other one is very simple and um, easy to forge. And then there's Chris Barron's, which is very beautiful as well. So I have number 23, of course. Amazing, amazing job. This book was well worth the wait. Um, I know a lot of people, it tests your patience. It's November 21st, or November of 2021, Till now, this is the last book I had on pre-order from 2021. I actually have books on pre-order from 2020. And I have a book from Cemetery Dance on pre-order from 2013. So, you get an idea that this is a long wait for Suntup. And the wait times are getting shorter and shorter and shorter. But, for Cemetery Dance, this would be... Um, a move in the right direction. This is light years ahead of their schedule. But everything about this work is majestic. There's um, the Chris Barron's artwork. And I don't know what the delay was with... Um, apparently there were a bunch of creased pages on the additions and that's why it caused the delay. But uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to have it done perfectly or as close to perfect as possible. This is a gorgeous edition, just gorgeous. Um, one of the gems, you know, this is definitely gonna be one of the books I look at when I look at my Suntop collections and put it in my, one of my favorites. In fact, I just did my spotlight on Suntop, you know, what to expect when you're collecting Suntop editions. And um, had I filmed that this week, this book would have been in there. Beautiful. Great stuff. Knocked it out of the park. Um, and like I said, I can only hope for more Thomas Old Hoovelt and um, Suntup collaborations in the future. Because this is dynamite. So, thank you for joining me this time. I hope to see you again next time. And in the meantime, stay frosty. <laughs>